Okay, so first of all, um, I look a little bit different. I shaved, obviously. I have another video where I specifically discussed the shaving in case you were interested in seeing that. Um, yeah, so a little bit, uh, a little bit on the silly side, I think. Kind of like a little bit, I don't know, it's like, a, not silly, the video is silly. I think I look okay. I, uh, it's been years since I've been, like, you know, relatively clean shaven. This is actually, um, looking at myself on the webcam here. This is, I shaved on, a Tuesday. So this has been, um, like four days, four days post shave. So I'm starting to get a lot more stubble going on here. Um, I wanted to mention last time, um, let me see this. Uh, yeah. Last time we opened up our box here and I think I said Oingo Boingo was this pet. But that's actually bonkers, not Oingo Boingo. And I'm, I'm getting a little bit mixed up here. Um, the marionette is Oingo Boingo. So I'm going to grab this real quick. And I mentioned last time also, um, the, the one request, the person that sent me all these cool uh, pets, was that I give them names so that when I use them, the person when I'm questing, the person will know that they're the ones they sent. Um, which is cool. So I'm, I'm, I can deal with that. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to leave Bonkers as the name uh, because I'm going to grab these other ones since they're going to expire soon. Because Bonkers is the name of was the name of my dog when I was a kid, one of my dogs. Uh, since deceased, so I kind of like the name Bonkers, just as is. Now, I'm going to pull out another one of these. I'll have to figure out names for all these. Um, let's see, what's this? That is a cool looking pet. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting a little bit carried away with just, like, worrying about pets, but they are cool looking. Look at that thing. Anyway, we're going to continue today um, as you adjust to my moderately clean shaven face. Um, a little bit of Let's queue up for an instance first where we get any further. We more don't forget to do this. Uh, we did Violet Hold last time, so we take that off our list. And I'm up for any of these. I want to go back to Pit of Sauron at some point. I think we, I think that was the instance where I got like crushed and then we wiped and we lost someone and left. And they left and never finished it. <laughs> so we'll see if we get to that today. Uh, I went ahead north for these quests up here. I'm not going to necessarily worry about the Shimmer Caps, dude. It seems kind of, kind of slow. Um, I'm wearing... A long sleeve, I think it's Columbia branded shirt today. Columbia is not a sponsor of this channel, uh, which would be kind of cool. But uh, actually, Voodoo Realms sponsored this channel, and we recently were talking, and they uh, we we agreed to continue our sponsorship deal. Um, so they've renewed it for at least uh, the next cycle. Um, so as I mentioned before, they sponsored the channel. They're really generous to me, and you should check them out. They make a lot of cool T-shirts, and you can find the link in the video description. So I'm not wearing the shirt today. I'm actually it's kind of laundry day for us, um, and I actually wear their shirts out and about. So I don't always have them clean when I need them. I, I don't plan ahead well enough, obviously. Um, so it's laundry day for us. We're gonna do we've got one load running, and another one I'll do as soon as this video is done. As soon as this episode is done. Uh, now what are we doing over here? Oh, I flew. I just realized, I kept telling myself I'm going to not fly for the sake of trying to explore the zones a little bit more and not kind of just like skip through stuff and I just wasn't thinking and I just went. So I uh, am breaking my own promise to myself. Now what else? I'll take some notes here. Okay, so what quest was this for? Oh, I heard BFA's release date has been announced. I'm super excited for that. Uh, an exercise in diplomacy. It's good to finally meet you, Superlock. Uh, these trappers are a great bunch of lads and lasses. Okay. I see, so this basically introduced us to a new quest hub. Okay, cool. Northern Hospitality. Uh, Sergey at Silverbrook wants you to slay eight conquest old marauders. Good old-fashioned horde killing. I can uh, abide by that quest. Let's go over here. We're going to grab at least one more quest, it looks like. Maybe? Oh yeah, there it is. I, I didn't see, I was looking right past the quest giver. Wolfsbane Root. Um, Katya, 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 and Silverbrook wants you to uproot eight Wolfsbane Roots. Um, they're basically weeds. Okay, it's a horrible weed. Yep, got it. We can make that happen. What is... It's literally here? Oh, it's in the farm. Okay, that, that makes sense, right? 
Does that make sense? I don't see anything around here. It looks like it'd be Wolfsbane root stuff. Huh. Anyway, so one of my goals before BFA is to get this tune to level 110, which is at the rate I'm going. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I, I legitimately need to um, play well more, which is not the worst thing it's ever I've ever said out loud. Oh, there we go. Wolfsbane. Easy. So I need to play more with this tune because I want to hit 110 on this guy and uh, get a little more experience with him. Not not just like in-game experience, but like practice experience, I should say. Um, let's do this. Because, what? I get stunned. What? What just stunned me? I have no idea what that was. Um, that was really weird. I don't know if I understand what just happened. But maybe they cast like an instant stun on me. And I just wasn't paying attention. Not sure. That was weird. It's like this, the stun time was perfect in line with, um, it's perfectly in line with my Infernal dropping, so that's what kind of threw me off. It felt like my Infernal just stunned me, which I'm sure that's not what happened. Um, so anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I'm really, what is this? Oh, I'm on a PvE server, so I can't attack. How, how can someone attack our stuff and not be flagged? You know what I mean? Like, I guess these aren't... I guess these trappers aren't actually alliance flagged. Interesting. These are instant respawning roots. Like, look at these things. I'm just... I just turn around and they respawn. This is a very easy quest. Um, yeah, so my goal is to hit 110 on this tune. So what I'd like to do is, as soon as I hit 110, I think I will play on this tune. I think this is the tune I want to play at the launch of BFA. Um, I think I've gotten kind of accustomed to the tune, and I like Warlocks in general. As I found out um, from Vanilla and from or from Classic, or I guess, yeah, from Vanilla and from Legion play, and so I like Warlock. So I would like to um, have this tune hit 110, and then see if I can uh, get to 120 on it. I'm sure I can, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's get our last root. Now, of course, they don't respawn right away. That's fine. Um, so I think that'd be cool. I think it'd be a lot of fun to show this character all the way from level one to 120 without any heirlooms. I keep saying I want to try heirlooms, but now I'm like, I do want to try them, but I don't want to, like, I guess it's a tarnish this character. In not, not that heirlooms tarnish a character, but it's kind of fun to have one character that I just never use heirlooms on. I guess that's why I got stunned was from some sort of charge mechanic that happened um, earlier when, when I dropped that Infernal. But yeah, I think it'd be really cool to hit 120 on this character. So that's my goal, is to hit 120 eventually on this guy. Um, I have no idea. What level am I now? 74? Well, I'm 75, basically. I'm right, right around there. I have no sense of, at level 75, how far I am away from hitting 110. Like, is that the halfway mark? Is that a third of the way there? Is that two-thirds of the way there? I am wildly unsure. Um, I know in... Vanilla, level 45, is roughly the halfway experience point to 60. So it's not level 30, it's actually level 45. And I assume there's a similar a similar point. I mean, there's obviously a halfway point. <laughs> I assume there's something like that in um, Legion also, where maybe at level 90 is a halfway point or something. I don't know. What's my slash played? My slash blade is one day, it's only two days basically, I'm at about two days. This is the last level, it's taking an hour and a half, that's super long compared to the rest of these. Um, huge portion of my time isn't spent on this level. So I played about 48 hours to hit level 74. That's cool. I mean, as for context, it would take probably at least six days played, six days played for me to hit 60 in vanilla. See you later. Um, I think the record is like four days played, and I think the average is probably closer to nine to twelve days played. Um, I don't anticipate it taking twelve days for me to hit. Hmm. Oh yeah, so trinkets are things that aren't really... Um, hmm. I think I'll take this plus 25 critical strike. And I'll... I think I'm going to use that. 
Um, let's grab this quest real quick. Um, I want to pop this on, and I think I'm going to get rid of the versatility one. I, I think crit is better than the versatility. I think. We'll find out. Halls of Reflection. Okay, well, good. Oh, that's cool artwork. I like the blues. I like the blue shade of that. Um, I didn't I didn't even check. Was that... Um, I guess it was Wrath of the Lich, Lich, Lich King, of course. I'm stuttering here. Wrath of the Lich King, of course. Uh, let's pop out of this place. a solo. I can feel my blood freezing. Grab me. What is that? Up ahead. Could it be? Heroes at my side. Is that Frostmourne? I heard Jaina just now saying stuff that I wouldn't even quest to. Or is that it? The blade that destroyed our kingdom. Stand back! Touch that blade and your soul will be scarred for all eternity. Hmm. I must attempt to commune with the spirits locked away within Frostmourne. Give me space. Back up, please! Uh, Lang Sutao over here told us to come to this direction, so I don't know why. Also, I got new glasses. I just realized I was looking for myself. Jane, could it truly be you? Uther! Dear Uther! I... I'm so sorry. Jaina, you haven't much time. The Lich King sees what the sword sees. He will be oh. here shortly. Arthas is here? No, Maybe no. I... Arthas is not here. Arthas is merely a presence within the Lich King's mind. A dwindling presence. But Uther, if there's any hope of reaching Arthas, I... I must try. Jaina, listen to me. You must destroy the Lich King. You cannot reason with him. He will kill you and your allies and raise you all as powerful soldiers of the Scourge. Tell me how, Uther. How do I destroy my prince? My... Snap out of it, girl. You must destroy the Lich King at the place where he merged with Ner'zhul. Atop the spire, at the frozen throne. It is the only way. You're right, Uther. Forgive me. I... I don't know what got a hold of me. We will deliver this information to the king and the knights that battle the scourge within Ice Crown Citadel. There is something else that you should know about the Lich King. Control over the scourge must never be lost. Even if you were to strike down the Lich King, another would have to take his place. For without the control of its master, the Scourge would run rampant across the world, destroying all living things. A grand sacrifice by a noble soul. Who could bear such a burden? I do not know, Jaina. I suspect that the piece of Arthas that might be left inside the Lich King is all that holds the Scourge from annihilating Azeroth. Then maybe there is still hope. No, Jaina! He... He is coming. You... You must... This is the coolest instance ever, by the way. I'm trying to just listen. So, you wish to commune with the dead? You shall have your wish. As you wish, my lord. Soldiers of Lordaeron, rise to meet your master's call. You won't deny me this, Arthas. I must know. I must find out. This is really cool. That was an awesome cinematic. That was by far one of the coolest cinematics I've... Not cinematics, but, um, I don't know, roleplay, cutscenes, whatever you want to call it. That was really awesome. I super enjoyed that. I was trying to be quiet, because I, I always feel like I talk over these things, and people are always like, come on, let's listen to the thing. Oh, I leveled. I have unspent talents. Nice. 
I mean, I knew I was going to level here, but whoops, I have too many soul shards. Let me launch these out of here. Look at that DPS, though, folks. Look at me crushing it. I am world's greatest, oh no, uh, greatest rogue, greatest warlock, and a EU or Asia. Anyway, um, a good time to level up, I think, right? Although they're catching up on me here. Talents. What do I want? Oh, can't be changing combat. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, I got feared. Break out of that fear. I was like, I, I, I know I mouse clicked on that, but at least I remember that I can do that. Beats, uh, not breaking out of that fear, I think. Okay. What is this? Oh, those tentacles are cool. So I'm just. Oh, I need to, uh. Use my. Soul shards. I have a bad habit not using my soul shards as much as I should. Um, I'm trying to get better at that. Keep track of them. They just, like, they accumulate so fast sometimes, and I'm always caught off guard by that. I'm just not quite ready when that happens. Um, so yeah. Guess I'll just emulate that guy. Let's hide over here. <laughs> okay, not bad. Alright. I've got my what is it called? Um backdraft buff off. I'm always trying to keep track of that backdraft buff. That's one thing I used to do like nothing with. I never pay attention to it. But now I know the significance of it um, because of my talent, which I didn't really pay a lot of attention to originally. But now I know. Now I know. Back to Let's. Oh, frozen. Is that good? I appreciate the AOE here. Um, this I like. I like the AOEing a little bit. Uh, pretty fun. Am I dying or am I okay? Uh, I'm okay. I think we're all doing okay. I was thinking, I was like, do I need to do any soul stoning? I think, so. I think we're fine. Oh, I did not see that guy back there at all. I was... Oh, well. Our tank just got locked out. Um, I didn't realize, like, Lang Suto, Suto died. That's really bad for us. But yeah, Lang Sudo says that they're locked out, which is a pretty significant problem, actually. Um, right? I, I don't know, actually, what we're going to do here. What just happened? Wait, what? That... That wasn't supposed to happen. So the warrior died and then said the and then the warrior said, oh, WTF, now I'm locked out. Also, I didn't realize the warrior died. I, I need to move this closer. I have like a large enough screen that I don't what I mean by this, I mean like my um party icons up anywhere closer so I can see them. Uh I, I think we just broke the instance. Did we not kill them? Oh, it resets. Wow, that sucks. Okay. I'll reset. How fun. Huh. Oh well, more experience. <laughs> Just, you know, these things happen. Okay, let's try this again. Now I also have a bit of, better understanding of what's going on here. Just kind of nice. Uh, let's, let's sneak this guy. It's actually really nice. You know, actually understanding a little bit more. I should be, like, dotting all these guys, right? I'm also gonna hide, because I think I've drawn aggro on that lady back there. <laughs> At least by line of sight, she'll come closer to us, which would be nice. I don't know if I still have aggro or not. Okay, there we go. Good. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, that was weird. I, I don't know exactly how that happened. Uh, oh well. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I like, I like killing things. Uh, we can re repeat that. Why do I, I lost my target for a second there. I, uh, I'm doing really bad here. I lost both the targets. There's two of them and I wasn't, I was like looking at the webcam and 
not focusing on the phantom mage duo that was nuking us. Should I be? What's okay? Soulstone is control nine. Okay. Um. Let's do this. I think some Hellfire sounds like a fun start to this fight. Throw down. Oh, I'm going to uh, heal up a little bit because I'm a little, little weakened there. I got like hit by a fireball or something. No bueno. Okay. I I'd like to incinerate. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, I'm trying to get an incinerate so it hits all the targets. And I need to kind of face them roughly for that to work. But I wasn't quite aligned right at first. All right. Oh. That knockback's annoying. I wish I could they just stand a little farther back, I think. Um, am I standing in fire? I am, aren't I? Maybe not. Yeah, this is much better. I, I need to get some perspective. Sometimes I get so far away. Um, I don't know what it cast. I've got so much. Okay, there we go. I've got like so many soul shards and so many things are about to die. I can figure out what was a good target. Okay, that's better. I don't know if our tank's squishy or our healer is bad or our DPS is slow. Um, feels like we should be killing these things a little bit faster than we are um, for whatever reason. I'm dumb. I just realized a thing I'm standing in that, that, that uh, green fire stuff is actually something from me, like a buff. Which reminds me. I should be uh, using these. I, I, I know I, I need to macro them still to my spells. Just so they always cast when they're available. I just haven't. Why am I casting with sitting? Is that possible? <laughs> it's a thing. I didn't know you could do that. The more you know. Okay, let's finish this guy off. Still holding up the DPS chart. Not by much, but just barely at least. Um, I like having that DPS chart on there. That's not that I put a lot of stock in it. And I know heirlooms got nerfed pretty heavily, so they're not quite as big on, in terms of, um, oh, there's a mage way out there. I know they're not quite as significant anymore, heirlooms I mean, in terms of the stat boost you get from them, but I am, uh, you know, not having any heirlooms on me and holding top DPS feels nice. I don't, I don't, I really am not trying to brag because I don't think I'm that good at all, I just, uh, it gives me some context that I'm not, you know, below the healer, for example, which would have been tragic, but... Okay. Let's do... That, and this, and drop that down, and start incinerating things. Something's whacking me hard. I mean, I see what it is, and it's, it's hitting me pretty hard. Not fun. I like to stand back as much as I can. <laughs> just, and I'm basically just spamming incinerate right now because there's so many targets anyway that it seems reasonable. There we go. Got a nice AOE stun on them all. I like that. I like that uh, infernal animation a lot. I've mentioned this like every episode basically, but it's super fun watching an infernal just like come crashing in on people. Um, it looks better now in Legion than it did in Vanilla. I'll, I'll give it that. It definitely looks quite a bit cooler now. And that's one of the the perks of having what 13 more years of a development time. Um, as a side note, things are going okay, I think, in here. Um, I want to just max out my soul shards. I think we're getting close to the last wave, where the boss will start popping up, maybe? Oh, no, not yet. Okay, so one thing I... Uh, or maybe this is part of that same wave. I'm not actually sure. One thing I was saying is, uh, having shaved, it feels weird. I, so I stopped shaving in end of 2015. I did trim my beard actually a lot, so probably eight times in the course of the two and a half years I had my beard, I either went to a barber or I did it myself where I would kind of shorten it up a little bit and kind of take in the sides, that kind of stuff. Um, with that said, I never had anything shorter than like a two inch beard. Time to go hard on Valric here. Um, that's what we want to do. Yeah, 
I should emulate him, I don't know. It doesn't actually work, does it? I thought that would it. I thought that worked on fear, but obviously it doesn't. I'm dumb. Oh well. Uh, so anyway, uh, the, the, my skin feels weird now. Like what I mean is, every time I go, so I soul stone our warrior. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but let's find out. Um, this guy does hit hard, apparently, because we're getting... Oh, well, actually, that's good. I'm glad, I'm glad to get the warrior up. I think that was the way to do it. I think I made the right choice. Oh, that fear is bad. So exhilarating. Where's my imp? I just realized my imp's been dead for probably days. <laughs> my bad imp. I mean, like... Oh, Paladin has so much DPS. Holy crap. It makes me feel really bad. <laughs> so delicious. Oh, man. It's a long stun. He's dead for sure. Are we gonna really kill him? Probably not. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh god. Wow. We got crushed. That's crazy. I, I'm just not used to the idea of... Of wiping. The healer says, well, I says, yeah, I can't heal that much, sorry. Especially after fear. That's so crazy. I'm, I don't know. I'm like, I'm reading chat and I'm flabbergasted at this. That's insane. Not like... Um, is there something I can do as a warlock that I should be doing here? Um, I don't have any sort of... Um, the team's kind of giving up. They said there's no, we need to like dispel the fear, but there's no way to do that. The only way we have is one cooldown. One person, who is that? Um, the priest has one dispel, it's on a cooldown, and people are bailing. Um, Adrian said he's out, they're all out. Wow, that's really intense. Um, that That's a, that's cool, and that's awesome. So, um, how would you beat that fight? I mean, we either need a healer that can out-heal that. Or we need to be able to dispel the fear. Um, let me get my talent while I'm before I forget about this. I'm almost sure I'm going to take this passive. Um, all single target damage done by you and your minions grants you and your pet shadowy shields that absorb 10% of damage to all 15 seconds up to 15%. Um, so I, I like passive stuff because I already feel like there's too much going on, so I'm almost for sure not going to take these instant, even if they're better. I know they're probably better. Um, actually, that one doesn't really seem necessarily better. It's like a sprint that damages you. Um, so, Demon Skin. Your soul leech absorption now passively recharges at a rate of 1% of your maximum health every one second. Huh. I like that, I think. Nice, that's cool. That's a that seems really good, right? Now we just have a permanent shield of what's gonna be let's see, um thirty six hundred, a little bit under thirty six hundred, right? It said twenty percent, twenty percent of eighteen thousand is about thirty six hundred. Should be just shy. Yeah. That's awesome. That's cool, I like that. That's a great so I basically just give myself a twenty percent health boost when I enter combat that regenerates over yeah, I'm really happy with that pick, I think. Um, okay, so that's my instance run for today, because I, I don't think I'm going to be able to queue up and get into another one in time in my one-hour window here. But holy crap. Um, so you'd have to either be able to dispel the fear, have a burst heal they can use immediately after the fear. Could you outrange the fear? If the healer stood back further, could we? Could the healer have not been feared? Um, 
I don't know what the range would seem pretty large and we were like pretty much all getting impacted by it. Maybe if um or you need to be able to dispel the fear. Oh man, oh god. <laughs> Help. <laughs> that shield though, look at that. That thing held up real nice there. That shield was awesome. That that like it literally absorbed all that initial damage from them without um, any problems for me, which is great. I need to get my imp out, I know, um, but I'm, I know my soul servers are also full, I get it, I get it, I gotta see this. Uh, so, yeah, that's crazy, um, that's a fun instance, I like that instance, first of all, cool story, really cool story. I don't know, was it the Pit of Souls, at the name of that instance, I need to recheck what that actually was called. Um, so first of all, the, the role playing was awesome, um, I really liked that intro to that, it was really cool. Uh, secondly, I... The waves were fine, they were challenging, but not... Actually, I guess we did technically pretty much fail in the first time through, so they were actually pretty beefy waves. Uh, and the first boss crushed us, so I definitely want to go back to that instance, because that is a really cool place, even if I didn't have any quests for it. Um, that was awesome. And I think, I think our group seemed okay, but I can't tell... Someone that knows more about healing and tanking and everything would be able to tell us whether our DPS was too slow or healers bad or tank was bad or what but um it seemed like we were just under geared like I, I don't it sounds weird to say that in legion but it just felt like we weren't strong enough i don't know maybe the scaling really has made this a lot more difficult i'm sure that's partially scaling related but anyway that was fun that's probably one of my favorite instances so far even though we basically got crushed um so i think what i need to do is save that's done man that's done I'm gonna try and pull aggro off of our buddy over here. The captured tracker, which I don't know if it really matters that much. But, yeah. Uh, let's see. My. Today is my mom's birthday and my sister's birthday. They have the same birth date. So I am. Uh, we're actually leaving town soon. We're gonna go visit my family and. Uh, you need something? Test the metal to complete this quest. Go to the northwestern end of Silverbrook. This is the beginning of the test. Okay, let's mount up. Uh, I, yeah, let's go over that way. So, uh, we're going to leave town. We're going to go visit my family. We are going to... Uh, there's a bakery in our... And it's basically my hometown that I really like. Uh, my wife really likes it. We ordered ahead of time a half dozen chocolate cake donuts. So, like, a lot of donuts are yeast donuts. Um, my wife really likes cake donuts a lot more than I do, but we both enjoy donuts in general. Um... So we ordered a half dozen chocolate cake donuts with uh, frosting and sprinkles. So we were picking those up on the way out of town, which we're excited for. Words of warning. Who is this? Caged prisoner. Okay. Hey, you, you're not one of them. Quick, let me out. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. We have to get to the Amber Pine Lodge. Okay. Is he going to... Follow me? He says, were you bitten? He's asking. Yeah, I was. Sad times. So, is he going to follow me or not? What can I, do for you? I can't tell if I have to, f to follow this guy or... Oh, he's going to get a horse. That's nice. Take uh, Dekai's horse. There's lamp oil in the back. Huh? This guy says there's lamp oil in the back. Oh, here we go. Take use of that. Okay, cool. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. I was like, it's just gonna be like a stupid thing where we just get taken wherever we need to go. Nice. So we can throw burning oil. We can increase movement speed. Let's do that. And we can do a trample. It's like a super thunderclap. Got it. Alright. Oh. Boost, let's go. <laughs> Apparently the boost is what I should be using most of the time here. Oh no, I aggroed the uh, stag. Run. Cool. So we don't really need to kill them, we just need to stomp and escape them. That's basically all that needs to happen. It slows them for 10 seconds and it's like, okay. That is one, two, three. Yeah, I guess it's three seconds. 
So all I really need to do is stomp, like trample, and then run. It's not so much about the actual killing, I think. 33,000, how much health they have? I guess it should kill them pretty much. If I actually could hit them, it would kill them. <laughs> but apparently I'm a scrub. It does... Oh, 32,000 over 8 seconds. So I really need to land it on them and then wait 8 seconds. Nifty. I feel like I'm missing a lot with that fireball. What is it called? Burning oil? This is an awesome quest though, I like it. I'm happy with this, this is fun. I don't think I've ever had a quest quite like this, like an escape quest? Not like where I'm mounted and I'm like the... I'm like the, the, the co-pilot, kind of, you know? Like I'm handling the uh, the artillery, and this guy's handling the maneuvering. Ooh, the mountains can count in those in a while. Anyway, let's boost, go, go, go. <laughs> I like it. I am trying to kill them, admittedly. Easier said than done, I think, but I am trying to. What is that thing? Grey Mist Hunter. Hmm. Boost. <laughs> it's like he's running right at the rock. He's like, dude, no, go, turn. Don't hit the rock. Yeah, I feel like that fireball, the, the, the uh, targeting on it isn't very good, but that's okay. I'm getting at least some of them, which is good enough for me, as long as I hit some targets. Um, oh man, it. Well, while we were in this fun little chase scene, how close are we? About halfway there, maybe? Um, I had a, this crazy last, like, three weeks. It's just been insane uh, at work. And not in a bad way. I mean, I, I, in a bad way, sort of, because I've been working late. and wor At home, I've been working late. And I've been working um, a lot, a lot of hours, but lots of writing mostly. I had a lot of presentation. That's a cool jump. Good job, you. Oh my gosh, there's so many of these guys. Can they daze us? I hope not. That'd be really bad. I don't. Obviously, they can't at this point. I would have been dazed for sure. Like, there's so many of these. This horse has a ton of health, though, which is great. Because otherwise, this could be a little more problematic. Now, let's stomp those guys. I'm actually, like, spamming my abilities now. Oh, they f they fleed. Okay, so I guess we're in the clear now. Maybe? Anyway, so one of the big things I did is I wrote what ended up being a 50-page document. Not all the stuff was my writing. Some of it was just, like, kind of stuff I almost, literally almost had, not copy and paste, but it was, like, formality stuff. So it was, like, filling in some information. Um, it was, like, a 50-page document. I submitted it to the American Cancer Society because they have a grant that they were asking for, you know, for applications for. If I get the grant, it's going to be, like, it's around, um, like, $120,000 over two years. Which um, is actually, it's not my money. A lot of it is like research supplies and things. It's not like I personally get the money. I'm in control of the money, but I'm literally legally obligated to use it towards research. Um, so it's not like I get a, a raise or, a, or, or money out of it for myself, really, in, in that sense. Um, but it's, it's a fair amount of money, and it takes a lot of time to put those applications together. So I'm crossing my fingers that I'll get that grant. It would fund my research in infectious diseases for about two years, which is really cool. Okay. We escaped from Silverbrook. The worgen blasted light, forsaken, filth ridden worgen. Okay. It's time we showed the locals what a civilized folks <laughs> do with beasts like them. Wow, that's really, like, awful sounding. What do civilized folks do to beasts like them? <laughs> Just, that's how you get a uh, genocide going on, sir. Okay, so we have to respond aggressively. We're going to kill their leader and some hunters sure why not uh how do i get there hmm uh i'm trying to think what head i want to pull out now i think i do want the proto Drake resummoned. Okay. So oh, they're down there, okay, good. That's an easy spot to get to. Yeah, so that um if you're wondering why, as an infectious disease scientist, the American Cancer Society would be interested in possibly funding me, it's because patients had chemotherapy and um, like stem cell transplants and all sorts of different artifacts uh, are um, treatment methods of cancer are often immunocompromised. 
and they're at a heightened risk, therefore they're at a heightened risk of disease and infection. So um, I basically am writing a proposal that will address possible um, concerns of infection for cancer patients, which is so it's, it's relevant to cancer. It's not, I'm not by any means treating cancer in what I'm proposing to do, but I am um, proposing, ooh, quest. Interesting. It details the arrival of a shadow worshipping group called the Wolf Cult. Cool. Um, so anyway, it basically um, is not treating cancer, but treating, uh, but hopefully improving outcomes of cancer patients by way of um, reducing their chance of becoming infected or improving their ability to recover from infection. Uh, so you know, it's relevant, I think, to cancer research. Um, so I'm excited and hopefully I get funded. It's a low chance. I think it's like 10 to 15% of all applications are funded. So I'm not holding my breath, but you miss all the shots you don't take, right? I don't know who said that, but someone said that. Anyway, we found Vladek and he's got those cool, uh, what are those gloves called from like Molten Core? It's like the same artwork. I don't remember what those are called. I should know that. Oh, Eskanders. So it is the Eskanders set. Looks like he has the Eskanders left and right gloves. Okay, kill the big guy. Now we just need to... We need to find some more of the little guys. Is there one in there? Yeah, there is. So where are these guys? They're kind of hidden for some reason. Um, so anyway, as I was saying earlier, my goal is to definitely hit 110 on this tune before BFA launches. I will be there day one on BFA. I uh, haven't talked to my wife about it yet, but I'm considering taking like a half day off of work. Uh, to on BFA's launch and then another half day on Classic's launch. It's hard for me to justify taking a full day off work, but just like going in from like 6 to 11 and then going home. Sounds kind of fun. What? 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 Oh. Wow. We found a glitched mob. I was like, what is that floating head thing there? <laughs> oh, it's a mob that's underground. How scary. Please don't flee. I hate you so much. Just die, please. There we go. I sound like a masochist or some like murdering person. Just die, please. <laughs> a void elf warrior. Hey, I don't see a lot of void elves around here. I'm gonna tag that one so I get a kill on that too. Um, I have not unlocked the the what are they called? I want to call them secondary races, that's not, like, the alternative races, whatever, Void Elves and things. I haven't unlocked any of them yet. Um, I just haven't taken the time. I need to get, like, more reputation. I feel like I hear something outside. I'm not sure exactly what I think I'm hearing, but oh, I'm all done, aren't I? Let's get out of here. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I never get to fear things. I never do choose to fear things. That's what I should be doing. See that? We'll boost out of here. Let's go back and turn in both of these quests. Yeah, I, I was like, why do I have two quests? I forgot to get the journal, so that's cool. Free experience. Um, yeah, I if someone honestly, if someone knows how long it takes to go from 75 to 110 without heirlooms, um, without tryharding experience, like I mean, I'm just doing quests and maybe one instance every hour, which obviously I don't always even succeed at. Um, if anyone has an estimate how many hours, how many, how much play time it's going to take for me to hit 110, I would appreciate that estimate in the comments. I, I really hate when YouTubers, I don't consider myself a YouTuber, when people on YouTube, um, like, try and get people to comment to increase interaction and increase video visibil visibility. I don't, I really don't care that much. Um, but I actually this time would like to know if anyone has an idea of how many hours it would take, because it would, basically if I figure out, let's say it's going to take, I don't know. 96 hours and there are what maybe when is it august so it's april may june july august about four months so about 16 weeks before bfa launches and there's 96 hours that i need to play to hit 110 then i need and i'll say four to five i guess even more than that let's say five to seven hours a week i need to play on this tune i just need to know that um so i can get a sense of how much time i have to allocate 
I just clicked that quest out reading it, my bad. Um, because I really want to be 110 at BFA's launch this guy. Otherwise, I'll put my Rogue at 110 for sure at BFA's launch. But this guy's what I kind of think I'd have more fun playing almost. So we'll see. Uh, I imagine there'd be more to this than just an outside of town of hostels. Okay, let's check out the mine. Yeah. Hmm. Grayan Stout Mantle. That name does sound familiar. Slightly. Oh, it's way up there. Wow. Uh, do I want to go over there, or do I want to go here? Um, I don't know. That's really far away. There doesn't even be a. F oh, there's a flight point over there. Okay, let's let's do that. How long does it take to run over there? This is the, I'm the most inefficient leveling person ever, especially if I stick to this not flying things. Look how fast flying is. Okay, I'm gonna make a compromise here. I'm gonna fly. But I'm going to fly at ground level so I can see stuff a little more instead of just flying over everything. That way, because you do get a little, yeah, 150% flight speed and 100 land speed. So 50% faster, I'll get over there in uh, less time. But I won't necessarily miss the scenery as much. Although it's hard to level off your ship. I'm having trouble, like, getting it. That's cool. What is that? Hmm. That's cool. Am I supposed to? Oh, it's a it's that lodging thing, right? I think. And then, huh. okay. Um. Oh, if you happen to watch the video of me shaving my beard, and you notice I'm like turning to the side and talking a little. Oh, what's this? Remington Broad. Hey, it's Ben Broad. Hope that song reminds you of the wild. The North Rand. Have a good one. I've seen, I think I saw that guy before actually out here. Um, there's a quest right here. I might just do this quest since I'm getting so close to the area. Like, I'm r running right by it. Might stop off. I need serpent eyes and shimmering snow caps. Oh, I don't know if they're all here, though. I think it might be... Serpent eyes. That's what we need? Okay. So, um... What was I saying? Basically, uh... Oh, that's shaving, but if you look at it, I'm like talking the whole time, or like looking at my side and laughing at stupid stuff. That is because my wife was off screen, off camera, and uh, wasn't making fun of me, but like was like laughing with me and like kind of giving me some suggestions on what looked good, and by good I mean terrible, but like funny. So uh, I had a lot of fun with that shaving thing. Actually, it was tons of fun. My wife had a lot of fun too. Um, you know. There's not a lot of these serpents out here, actually. I like a surprisingly low amount, almost. I don't know if that, if I'm correct in thinking there's not that many, but there's not. There's a lot of trolls and not a lot of serpents. Um, I do see them. They're just kind of interspersed between trolls. And the drop rate's okay. Let's do this. Um, this guy needs to stop getting behind me. That'd be great. There we go. Much better. Now I can actually hit both these guys, I think, which is uh, some improvement over my other approach I was taking there. Um, yeah, so these serpents, we'll go ahead and clear them up. I think this shimmering snow cap somewhere else, though, right? I don't think it's actually located here. Not that I'm going to even get the serpent eyes at this rate, because they drop rate so bad, it seems like. But I think the... Um... Oh, two mobs, okay. Oh, I just nuke them both. I think it's no capture somewhere else, but I think the quest tracker will tell me where they're at as soon as I finish this quest. Like, this part of the quest, it'll, like, relocate for me. Uh, let's go get that guy out there in the distance. I kind of almost killed all of these guys. I don't know why, it just seems fun. <laughs> 42 experience. I forgot, experience is kind of, like, scaled based on how much damage I actually do to the mobs, right? To some degree. What is going on here? What is this place? I'm getting really distracted off my quest, but I kind of want to see what's going on up here. Um, Zoldrak. What is this? Oh, it's a zone. Okay. I'm literally entering a new zone. Wow. That's a cool looking zone. I'm not going to go in there right now, but that's really cool. 
Hmm. Interesting. So that's how you get to Zoldrak. I, I don't remember the names of zones. No one's... I've asked a lot of people about advice for what zones to level in in Wrath of Lich King, and I don't think anyone... Actually, that's not true. I know at least two people in the comments and on Twitter and stuff have mentioned that I uh, try Zoldrak, but they're like a huge minority. Almost everyone said Howling Fjord to start. A huge amount said Grizzly Hills, and then it was like a mix between Ice Crown, Storm Peaks, and Dragon Blight. It was sort of a, a mix of all three of those. Um, so I'm uh, probably, I think, in one more level at 76, I'm going to go to one of those three. I haven't decided with which yet. And then once I do that, I'm going to um, hit AD there, and then I am 90% sure I'm going to go to Mist to Pandaria content. Um, that's what I think. Anyway, I'm not sure, right? I heard Cataclysm content's cool on Mists, and I just don't know which one I prefer. Kind of seeing old Cataclysm stuff would be really cool, though. Like, a part of me wants to see the old zone changes, but I don't know exactly how much... I, I don't know. <laughs> it's, I honestly want to hit the, have this tune hit 110, and then level another tune uh, as a horde from 100 or 120 or 110, and try all the other zones that I skipped. There's so, there's, it's honestly crazy how much content there is in this game at this point. Because every time they just, they took away some things, obviously, but a lot of times they just added more on top. They added new zones, and now with the level scaling change, it's just, it's so much better. The leveling scaling change is, I mean, okay, I only played, like, t I don't know, three versions of WoW, which is vanilla. Is Shimmering Snowcap really all the way over there? Wow. I played vanilla, Burning Crusade for about six months, and then Legion now for almost a year. Um, and admittedly... Not, I'm pretty casual, but going through it all, I, I've got to feel like that leveling scaling change was one of the best changes they've ever made in WoW. It, at first I was really skeptical, I was like, oh, that's stupid. And I, it, it actually, around the time they announced it, I had a Let's Play episode of this series, I think it was, and I was talking about how much I was disappointed in, in that change. But then a couple comments came through, people like, no, 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 I think you're misunderstanding how it's going to work. It's like, huh, really? And I had read some more, and thought about it. I was like, actually, that does sound pretty good. Then it came out, and it's it's blowing me away with how good it is. It's so much better. Um, and a lot of people that left well, maybe played in, like, Warlords or, um, I don't know, anywhere from Cataclysm to Legion, but quit before Legion, probably have no idea how significant that change is. And I think if they came back to WoW, they might realize how good that change was for the leveling experience. All right, new flight location discovered. Cool. That's what I, it's like, I always say, like, the first thing you gotta do when you go to a new place is go to the Flight Master. Because if you forget that, you're gonna feel really dumb when you have to run back again. So we're gonna report in, thank you. That's one of those quick ones. Look for clues inside a Hollowstone Mine, okay. Uh, we mean to send some of our lads to check out Hollowstone Mine. Yeah, Dumont sent us, that's correct. But find the mine entrance to the northwest, not far from here. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna move forward to the Ice Crown Glacier, but to do that, we need to tunnels beneath beneath Thor Modan. Hmm. Do I need some moonshine first? That's important. <laughs> uh, listen up, Warlock. Your days here are numbered. What? It's, it's, I feel like this guy's kind of insulting all of a sudden. Okay. Okay, so Zoldrak. Huh. So that is, I get what he's saying. Okay, so that's just a quest to go to Zoldrak. I don't need to go to Zoldrak. Um, I might even drop that quest. Mounting up. Ride five Highland Mustangs back to Squire Percy. Already have the rope pet leash. Okay. So, which quest do I want to do? Hold on a sec. Um... Oh, he's... Okay, got it, got it. Okay. Uh, that seems like a really complicated quest for some reason. I kind of want to go to get the moonshine. Where is that at? Yeah, let's go check that out. Um, Or the mine, which is right there. Okay, I want to check out the mine. Sorry, I'm getting mixed up on what I want to do. So many... I just, like, jumped down here, didn't I? Let's... let's 
cheat our way back up here. I'm going to fly a little. I think that's the mine entrance. I think I see it. And I guess when I'm done, I'll hearth back to Amber Pine. Get some rested experience. Yeah, that sounds good. Are these guys going to aggro me? What's the aggro radius in these guys? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's kind of nice to know. I get a sense of the aggro radius. I'm not... I haven't got, quite got a feel for aggro since the leveling scaling changes. I, I don't know how it's quite impacted things. Okay, I guess he's inside. Yeah, there he is. Cool. What is this? This is uh, Petro. What's going on? Complete quest. Okay. Uh, he looks de deeply disturbed. Okay. Um, once he's a miner's lantern to burn the corpses of miners. Okay. I'm going to put their souls to rest. I can make that happen. Uh, I think so anyway. We're going to find out. And I can't get over that instance. That was so cool. I, I, I sound, I'm probably like the only person in the history. I'm not the only person. I'm probably in the minority of people that don't really mind wiping. It, like, it's... It's so fun. Is that bad? Like, I think I'm a really bad WoW player because I actually enjoy wiping. I'm not saying I enjoy it more than winning. Like, I would like to win fights, but not... If it's a fight that is easy and it's like mindless, then it's not... I'd almost rather just wipe. I'd rather have a challenge wiping and kind of having fun doing that than... Hold on. My... Yeah. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I'm down here for a reason. I was thinking at first that Oh, I'm too slow. Okay, well, that's easy enough. Um, anyway, my point being is I personally don't really mind wiping as long as it's like, you know, fair. Like we wipe because we tried our best and we had it and it was a tough instance or a tough fight. That's cool. If we wipe because it's a badly designed fight, that kind of stinks, and I don't think that was a badly designed fight. I think we just weren't good enough. I didn't maybe gear wise, or uh, I don't know something. I don't think it seemed unfair. We got him down to like thirty percent. Um, that was with rezzing a healer or rezzing the tank at least, but I don't know. I'm just not convinced that was an unfair fight by any means. I should kill this guy before I switch targets, shouldn't I? Anyway, my point being. Um, it's not that I'd rather wipe, it's that I'd rather have a tough fight and wipe than an easy fight that requires no real difficulty. Because then it's just boring. I mean, why even play a game if I'm just gonna like stomp everything? It's not... I mean, sure you can say there's like, gearing up your character is fun, even if it's an easy fight, or like seeing the lore is kind of fun even if it's an easy fight. That's true. I won't disagree. But there's other aspects of enjoyability in a game besides just um, difficulty. But maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm a little more... I don't know. Masochistic. And I don't mind wiping. Um, I was going to say maybe a little more old school, but I don't really think that's true. I don't think I'm that older, that much older than the average age of a WoW player. I think now that I've shaved, I actually look a little bit younger, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I uh, don't think I'm that much above. I'm still in my 20s, so, you know, not, not in the 30s yet. Um, anyway. So, we're almost done today, actually. We're gonna, I want to wrap up this quest, and I think I will... I, I think we're going to call it a day here. I'm sure this, this quest probably goes deeper and deeper in the mine, this quest line, uh, which I want to explore and finish up, but I know it's going to take longer and longer each time we go deeper and deeper in there. Hello. Return to Captain Grayman. Oh, it worked to work. My comrades can finally enjoy their well-earned rest. Okay. I'll turn in this quest. I, I just expect there's going to be more quests on there. It, it would surprise me if we are done with one quest. That, that seems unlikely. So, I will head back here, turn in this quest. And if he gives me a follow-up either way, I'll do it next time. But, for the most part, I think we're calling it a day here in a moment. Uh, complete quest. Wow, that's really... Oh, no, I was like, there's another quest. Like, come on. Hey there, I overheard what you were saying to the captain. I just want you to know, things aren't that simple in Northrend. Southwest of here, near Vordrasil Pass, there's a blind woman who goes by the name Aruna the Blind. Well, aptly named, okay. I heard your whole story, but it sounds like she'd be right up your alley. I haven't heard your whole story. Okay. Yeah, we can check that out in a little bit. Um, hmm. Okay, at this point... I think I'm going to call it end of the day here. There's the swapping the blow quest. 
Rune of the Blind is on there. Actually, next time we might hearth, we'll hearth back here now. And then I may just run over here to meet her. That probably makes sense. I think so. Anyway, uh, so we're going to call it a day here. We're going to get some rested XP. Um, maintain that full rested XP the entire way. Uh, like I asked earlier, if anyone knows, has an estimate, especially with the new scaling system, I, I, it's hard to find a lot of old information about this. But if anyone knows anything about um, the time it takes to level from, let's say, 75 to 110 uh, without heirlooms, without purely spamming uh, instances, I'd be very appreciative of figuring that out. I'll, I'll look into it myself, too. Um, but anyway, that's all for today. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.